going up against Tabin. I think Kevin ranked 31-ish versus Tabin, who's in the top 10. O almost always in the top 10. Tabin is an absolute machine. Both playing kind of their main civilizations. I think Kevin, known for his France slash Haudenosaunee, so I think he's, this is definitely one of his most comfortable sips. Tabin known for his China. China, oh my god, China are so good right now. And this is definitely Tabin's favorite civilization, I believe, or civilization he's best with. Tabin's going to be starting with a trade post. That's pretty typical for China. France also relatively typical going for that starting TP. My God, uh, just a heads up as well. Don't eat Turkish Delight while you're trying to cast. <laughs> it's so sticky. It's sticking to my mouth. I can barely talk. <laughs> Turkish Delight is so good though. Oh my god, thank you to the Turks for inventing it. I presume it was the Turks that invented Turkish Delight. Beautiful. Okay. Nice wood treasure there. That's gonna that's gonna really help China actually, because they, they need to chop to get that house uh, early game. That's gonna be yeah, there it is, the village. So that's gonna be really nice. Pick up that. So food treasure coming in for France. That's gonna be good as well because um more food the merrier in, in age one, because that's gonna allow you to age up quicker. Take a quick look at Kevin's deck. Now, we saw Kevin's industrial deck earlier in another game, which I, I believe will be posted to you as well. When this comes up, we now see his standard deck. So this is 1v1. We saw his industrial deck. Um, but this is very much more typical. Uh, definitely going to be uh, Kevin's um, play style suited, very much suited to his play style. He's going to be much more comfortable uh, in this sort of fortress age play. Maybe some age two play as well. But Kevin's going to be really feeling himself here. He's played this matchup countless times. So he knows what to expect versus China. Uh, China always, kind of typically, China was always weak to cavalry. But like lots of cavalry. So maybe uh, that's still true to some degree. So maybe Kevin's going to want to definitely kind of flood Tabin with lots of cavalry. Probably going to do that in age 2 or age 3. Lots of little treasures on this map, like lots of little 40 woods, 40 foods, etc. Crack shot in that. Got another 45 wood over here. The natives are House of Vaza, my personal favourite. Oh, two, two Vazas, so... Interesting to see if anyone picks that up, because I think, particularly House of Vaza, it just synergizes so well with so many civilizations, uh, purely because of this, uh, this four torp tech, but it's Hanseatically, we just call it the four but purely because of that, it's uh, it's such a such a viable option for so many civilizations. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see if we see that. Kevin now going to go for macro heavy on wood, which he's going to go for the market text for. Tabin going for the. Let's have a quick look at Tabin now. So he's going to have gone for yep. Yeah, so he's going to go for T export. He's going to be saving his next card. Going to be aging up with summer summer palace. So this is interesting. So he's gone for the French consulate, right? And he's already used the, the 300 or the 400 food tech. Um, so he's used his export to get that, which allows you to age up faster. Um, and we can see now a lot of the time, if you don't go for French consulate, it, it is very typical that Japan, uh, that China will age up at three minutes 30, and start aging up at three minutes 30, but he's already halfway aging up at that point. So yeah, very good to go for the, the French consulate to get that food tech in early. However, it does sacrifice. It means you have to sacrifice being able to get something like the Russia the Russia blockhouse or going for the Brit standard Brit consulate, which up buffs your units. He was also going with the Summer Palace. Now, this is a slightly unusual because typically what we see is the Temple of Heaven, is it called? Um, or Heavenly something. Uh, and that's the, the, that gives you the big button to the Transcendence, uh, which is what we typically see, particularly at a tavern at the moment. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be interested to see why he's gone for Summer Palace. Maybe he's worried about age 2 pressure, which he does see here. And he did just see with his disciple. He's going to see it with a line of sight. He does see the stable going down now. Uh, that's really useful scouting. Really, really good scouting there. So he's going to see that instantly. And his first card is going to be the Pikeman. Wow, so that's the response. Really, really nice. He does change his Summer Palace to get the old Han army. Nice little treasure going down here as well. Summer Palace does obviously give you, allow you to age up with the food. That is going to help him age up quicker. 
Then on French consulate, probably going to keep... Just wait it out now. Wait it out until he's able to get the 500 food, uh, wood tech. Typically what you see. And then after that, he'll he'll end relations and he'll go with the Brit consulate. Nine Pikeman coming out. He's going to be aggressive with them, I imagine. Looks like he is, yeah. He's going to be super aggressive. Along with his monk. He doesn't want to lose his monk. And only three cav popping out for Kevin there. That's really not that great. Wow, Disciples being produced now as well. The question is, is the is the Pikeman going to get there in time? It is. And the, the monk does survives on 7 HP. Oh, no, it died. I apologize. It's just about died. So that's actually quite a good... That wasn't a terrible trade for Kevin. But yeah, he's going to lose his stable. His Hazards. He's only got three of them. Does have access to the Minutemen version of them as well. Wow, and Steppy Riders out now. So, Tavern ain't playing in the Fortress Age here. Wow, I did not expect that. Barrett's going down now, but Kevin, you're building it right out there. That's so super aggressive. That's so aggressive. Tabin, Tabin seeing it, yeah. And these, these Steppy Riders are going to get, yeah, they're weak, but there's so many of them that that free Hazard's just going to get melted there. That was a really silly placement by Kevin there. I feel like it was a bit of a panic, actually. Crossbows are coming out. If he can get five Musketeers out, he's probably okay. Minutemen popping as well. Would have been nice to see them a little bit earlier. Is the five Musketeers going to come out? Is the five Musketeers going to come out? That's going to be super important. It doesn't. Oh my god, there was half a second left. Oh no. Hiya. That was really unfortunate. If the Musketeers came out, they could have got the snare on all of these units. And it could have. they could have been... The majority of them would have been cleared up. Wow, that timing. Now, Kevin's kind of left in an awkward position here. <laughs> he has built, rebuilt another axe and he's having to rebuild another stable. So that's 400 resources he's lost. In not being able to... Uh, it, that's just an infrastructure. Let alone, you know, the snowball effect that's been just been completely impacted upon by not building military units. Although Tabin has had to use two shipments in age two. He's had to spend that on unit shipments. So he hasn't gone... He's, you know, he's not... His eco's not great. Kevin stacking resources, but he's gonna be he's still gonna be going for the musk the musketeer hazard build. Wow, so War Academy coming down now for Tabin. Now, what's Tabin doing here? Still going for the fortress, okay. But it's look how look how much it's been delayed. So a really nice response from Tabin. Definitely um definitely favoured at the moment, I would say. But you know, he's still still progressing with the, the he's now going for the Brit Consulate, still gonna be going for the Fortress Age. Not much to deal with that can deal with these expos with the the backing here the steppy riders there's just not gonna be enough of them the monk has come back but there's only 200 hp on it tc fire is in play as well that's gonna be nice Minutemen and musketeers at the back they're gonna do a big good amount of damage here yeah they're gonna absolutely melt the steppy riders it's gonna be a lot of back and forth here kevin does have access to destroying some of his infrastructure now so destroying this village would be really nice but there's only really melee units. And it looks like it's go time. Five of Zars coming in. But that's going to be really awkward placement. Yeah, he's going to back up into this tree line, into this TP here. The, it's just it's almost impossible for Kevin to push in there. Okay, Minutemen getting popped now as well. Yeah, there's just, it's just kind of a bluff. It's not really... It's just kind of uh, posturing to try and uh, delay Kevin as long as possible. Delay this village going down for as long as possible. That's exactly what he's doing now. He's probably going to lose all of these units. But it's it's, it's going to be a, probably a fair trade, to be, in, in all fairness. Yeah, the Hazard's going out on these Quang Pikemen. These are, are relatively weak Pikemen. Wow, and the Monk's in there as well. These Disciples are going to be doing a lot of damage, actually. Disciples do do really well versus infantry, particularly Expos, Light Infantry. A so pretty fair even trade. If he can take, he needs to take that, that Quang Pikeman. If he takes down that Pikeman. Oh, wow. The monk getting straight away. He'll right back up. And for some reason, it has 467 HP. I, that must be a bug somehow. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know how it just instantly uh, kind of healed back up after after going down with 400 HP. Someone in chat's got to tell me how the hell that just happened. I know he aged up, but surely that would have given him 200 HP. Maybe, maybe China get more hp i don't know 
You're trying to get more HP uh, from aging up. Oh, I guess they do, right? I guess they do. So, so unfortunate. <laughs> Going down, like taking taking away all of that HP. And then all of a sudden he ages up and it comes straight back up with 400 HP again. So crazy. You can take it down again though. It's a lot of XP. That's, that's, that's 90 XP times what? Three or four now this game? It's a lot of XP. Musketeer's still in play here. But now it's going to come the, the skirmishers. Yeah, now this is where Tabin's going to be feeling himself. The score's looking good for Kevin though. When this Archivist Air card comes in, I, I imagine the score is going to be very even at that point. Now, what did Tavern age up with? He went for the Porcelain Tower. So, yeah, his eco is going to be popping now. This this Porcelain Tower in H3 is essentially a factory. Very nice. Just going for, like, a Skirm Pikeman um, comp here. But out of nowhere, Kevin's also aged up. Somehow I missed that. Skirm Goon coming in as well. Unfortunately, he's gone heavy on the Goons, which... Uh, he's, maybe he's, he's, he's thought that um, Tavern would be making Cavalry first. It's, it's, it's just a guessing game. It's a complete guessing game. Kevin used losing quite a few units there. Now the five Cavalry are coming in. Do know as well that, interesting, that House of Vaza is in play for China. So that whole time he was getting pushed here, he has actually gone for native as well. So imagine he's probably thinking about going for the four torps. But he doesn't have the wood. He's nowhere near the wood, so. He's not housed at the moment either, so that's nice. He just get another village down, which is great. Really nice spot here as well for the village. This TP is not going to be going down. Gum Goon not known for its uh, siege ability. Normal, sk normal skirmishes are stronger than these Archivists. Archivists is one of the weakest skirmishes in the game, if not the weakest skirmish in the game. So in even amounts of mass, the French player will come on top. Oh, a lot of cav out of absolutely nowhere. It's time for that good old skirm goon micro, Kevin. You need to back up. Question is, are the goons going to be able to pop a cavalry unit in one they are so what's kevin's micro up here he's going to squeeze himself into this nice little choke point here which is going to be great the pipemen are coming in now as well and this is the classic zed move kevin trying his best to micro here but he's just getting snared by everything oh and so many plus 12s out oh god yeah and the goon count's going down now as well there's still a few cav in play and it was looking good for kevin it was kind of looking good for Kevin. Which is classic Zed move by China here. Literally just producing units out of their ass. Unit, unit, unit. Ball's looking good for Tavern now as well. Kevin, still trying to push. Trying to do as much damage as he can. I oh, don't want to be losing any goons now. Tabin looking really good as well. That porcelain tower just giving him insane uh, wood production. And yeah, he's looking real cushy. Just been able to produce more forbidden armies. Uh, Kevin pushing in. I feel like Kevin needs to... Kevin's feeling like, you know, if, unless he does something here, you know, he's going to be going to be out. Very nice um, guard stance cover mode there instantly. Saves one pikeman. Very, very nice. More skirms. The problem is, Kevin needs some other than skirm goon. Uh, I feel like he even needs he needs to add something like cavalry or he needs to add some halberdiers. He needs something as a meat shield. You always need something as a meat shield to kind of just be in the middle, stuck in the middle, just you know, snaring his units back. Just being that absolute meat shield to tank um, HP against China. But he doesn't have it. He's just um, gooning all the way. I would like to see some curves at some point. Kevin really hot on this. The Vaza's now coming out. That's, where he, that's why he got the Vaza's. Just more eco. And a really efficient way for China to get 
um, population space because obviously they get villages which cost about 180 wood. So it's an expensive house. So yeah, this, these talks are a really efficient way of being able to get more population space for China. Not to mention that like, we look at this talk. Look at that. Look at that. It's basically a, a, a villager, more than one villager at that point. On all resources. So, yeah, really nice. Nice raid here, but Tavern's going to see that early. Not even going to pick up one villager. Kevin just harassing him here, though, so this is nice. Oh, one villager does go down. Look at this mass. There's lots of cav out. But there's a decent amount of goons, though. More forbidden army coming out. Tavern thinks it's go time once again. Oh, nice pull trick here. Look at these boys. Look at these sprinty boys. Pull these two in as well. There they go. Usain Bolt's. The reinforcements for Kevin. Or some more. Just again, look, just just consulate units, forbidden army, torps, just the monk with over 1k HP, you know, just units, 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 units. Currently on 40 veils plus porcelain tower plus torps. 40 veils for France plus CDB, so probably relatively even. All things considered, I'd say France probably in the lead just about, but that's just for eco, you know. Um, China do get, you know, export and other things on top of this. Does have He does have the Brits consulate in right now. Look at all of this cav out of nowhere. Wait for your curs, I beg, I beg. Please wait for your curs. Oh, this is going to give me a migraine. He, needs to, he really needs the curs right now. I, I worry he's going to get Zed moved. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, that's a lot of cab. He is pull tricking very nice. So these, <laughs> when you pull trick like this, you essentially have the same speed as cavalry or very close to. So um, it's a really good way of, of retreating. So really, really, really top tier micro there from Kevin. Just facing off against these uh, Arcubus airs and, and, and Kevin's going to take the favorable trade just because veteran skirmishes are stronger. Uh, if he can get between the range of eight to 10 curves, he's going to be looking real hot right now. Okay, managed to get seven. Not bad, not bad. Now getting free from the card. Probably going to queue some more as well. Going to queue some more curves? Is going to... Uh, nice, very nice. So, some curve playing now that... Ch whenever China's in front in score, you know you're going to have a bad time. This is the issue. Question is, is there going to be enough anti-cab? There's a lot of musketeers. There's not that many pikemen. Or, or swordsmen, should I say. So much cab. Look how much cab is here. The more curves coming in. He does have Cav Combat in as well. Really nice. Two Falconets is there as well, but you know that, that could do some damage. That could be nice. Two Falconets. I mean, I would I would I would have been happy if he went for two Falconets there as well. Because two Falconets could do wreck a lot of havoc on all the anti-cav that Tavern has. Take a quick look at Tavern. I imagine we'll see the, the equivalent of Cav Combat in for him, yeah, which is the double-faced armor. Okay, so that is in place of so both going very heavy cavalry. No mercenary units for Tavern, though. I mean, right now would be really nice for the, the cavalry archers, the uh, the Manchus. This could be a really nice choke point for Kevin. He's hiding his curs, he's, he, and he's doing that deliberately, just keeping these curs in the background. He doesn't want Tavern to see them. that Because then he'd, he'd produce more anti-cav, which is definitely what he doesn't want. The goons coming in now. Yeah. Now, at this point, there are just too many Archivist Airs. You know, and, and at this point, they are going to outmass and, and trade very well against the, the Vet Skirms. Wow, and that's a really nice... I think we're going to see go time now. Come on, Kevin. Come on, Kevin. Go time. Yep, Kevin, just retreat. Bait him in. Bait him in. Doesn't have access to Minutemen, unfortunately. More cavalry coming to you. And look at this. He's almost... He's over 200 pop. He's only at 19 minutes in the game and he's over 200 pop. More British... Oh my word, just more units coming in. It would actually be good to, at this point, when it's go time, it would actually be a good idea to do a villager pool here for France. Where's he coming from? He's coming from up here. I've been being a bit cautious. Oh my word, just two... He's max pop! He is max pop! He's only on 50, 48 villagers. Territory army can't be... Oh, man. 
<laughs> China is such a good sim. Somehow he's almost 10k score in front. <laughs> but that's a lot of curves. Don't count. Don't count Kevin out just yet. These curves could change things. And t is Tabin going to see that? I don't think he saw that. Very nice. I think Tabin definitely knows that he's hiding something. Oh, and it's go time. Come on, Kurz. But the Dragoons want to be in the background just doing all the damage. Oh, and he's going to be switcheroony. Nice little pull trick there to get the cavalry in a really favorable position. The skirmishers are going to want to be on the pikemen. And the... Oh, it's just messy. It's just messy. I have no idea what's going on. Kurz everywhere. Cav everywhere. Goons doing really good damage. Oh, but the top side's looking good, but the bottom side's looking really bad. Look at all these... Oh, these Disciples and Chang Dao just everywhere. And the Kurs are dropping like flies. Really <laughs> great battle at the end. Really great battle at the end. Perfect way to end things. Just interesting game as well because that didn't go. That didn't go how I expected it to go. I feel like the thing is, there's not many villagers around, right? So I feel like a villager pool would have been really nice here, but at the end, there would look. There's still so many units. Look, just so many units. It's got 23 red coats, just because. They're, they're essentially three units. <laughs> Good game, though. Good game. Village count very close. Take a look at all. Kevin favorable at the start, and then, yeah, Tavern starting to. China, good sieve, man. China, very good sieve. Military unit population was. I mean, Kevin had like 127 unit pop as well, but look at that. 100. 170 military pop. Insane. Absolutely insane. GG, though.